Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung-min. We begin with growing concerns over emergency care in the wake of the massive walkout by trainee doctors that started several months ago. In the meantime, fewer medical students are returning to schools as most classes open for the second semester. Choi Min-jung brings the latest. South Korea is experiencing a lack of medical personnel in emergency care, which the government says is mainly due to the mass resignation of residents in February. During a daily briefing on the medical emergency response on Tuesday, the health ministry announced there had been around 590 residents before the February protest, but by mid-August, the number dropped to below 60. The decrease in the total number of doctors in emergency rooms is due to the mass walkout of residents in February. And it's not a recent change in circumstances, but rather a situation that has continued since the emergency medical system was put into place. The total number of doctors working in emergency rooms is currently a little over 74 percent of the average. Despite the fall in the number of residents, however, the number of emergency medicine specialists increased by 66 compared to before February. And to fill the shortage of trainee doctors, the government has decided to deploy military doctors in emergency units starting Wednesday. Meanwhile, medical school students are not returning to class even as schools across the country begin the second semester. The number of medical students who have completed registration at nine national universities outside the capital area only amounted to around 4 percent of the total number of medical students. Teju National University did not see even a single student register. Medical school students have been refusing to return to school in protest of the government's push to increase the medical school admissions quota. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.